All right, so before we get into my settings, I just wanna say I've been streaming almost every day on a platform called Kick. It's kind of similar to Twitch. In my opinion, it is so much better than Twitch, and I think it's gonna be one of the best streaming platforms. And so make sure you go follow me there as I'll be streaming almost every day. And if you wanna support me by dropping a sub, that'd mean a lot. Okay, so first up, since I'm uh, in OBS right now, I'm gonna go for over my OBS settings. So this is for recording, not streaming. I'm gonna go over the stuff that I've changed and not stuff that is already set to default because um, there's only a few things i really changed so start off we're going to go to output you want to go to recording here and make sure output mode is put on advanced then you go here this is your recording path this is where everything goes so after you're done recording um after you clip something whatever it is uh this is the file that it goes in now i have this as a i made a separate folder and put it on my desktop um, that way i know after i record whatever i do it's always there it's easy to ask access um, if i go here to obs recordings you can see this is a recording right here and these are two previous attempts yes guys i'm not perfect i uh i failed two other two other attempts but it's okay for recording format the best option here is mp4 encoder um this is different depending on the graphics card you have but i recommend choosing this one here most people have a geforce or nvidia graphics card uh for your rescale output this is just leave that as what it is right now that's not really important i have it higher because i have a higher resolution monitor and then you can just copy this here now this is important so this is for uh cqp this kind of goes over um or this is for your all your pretty much quality settings and everything that uh, is important when it comes to recording so for rate control, you want to go for CQP. Some people use uh, CBR, but CQP, in my opinion, is much better. You want to change your CQ level to 18, keyframe interval to 0, preset P1 fastest, and the rest of it you can just copy. I'm not really too sure what it does, but this is what I found to be the best. Now, this is optional. This is for clips. So some people like to use metal, but I think since I go ahead and record in OBS, I might as well uh, use clipping inside of obs as well so you want to go to replay buffer click enable replay buffer here and then change the maximum replay time to whatever you want um so this is going to be the length of the clip uh it can be i i normally go for around 30 seconds so i have 31 seconds here and the maximum memory i changed that to 5 to 10 000 megabits doesn't really change anything but basically if your recording is over that amount of storage then it will fail pretty much so anything over you can make it a hundred thousand whatever i just have it at five thousand because i know no clip is gonna you know go over five thousand megabits and then you want to head over to hotkeys here and go to save replay and just change that over whatever hockey you want so if you do something cool if you want to clip it you can press that button and it'll clip the last 30 seconds one thing i need to note though is whenever you open obs you always want to start replay buffer it'll only clip or save clips if you start replay buffer and have that on if not then it won't work you don't have to be recording just make sure start replay buffer is on so always click that all right so next up head to the video section here and once again this is just my monitor resolution whatever the highest number is here which i'm assuming it'll be 1920 by 1080p just select the highest one and you should be good once again mine is higher because i have a higher resolution monitor than most people but and then downscale filter that doesn't really matter now you want to change this to fractional fps value just click on it and then go to fractional fps value change the numerator to 360 now i don't think most people can record in 360 you this is something you kind of have to test yourself all right so for the last thing in obs we're going to go to advanced and you want to change your process priority to above normal. The reason why you don't want this on high is because it'll then lag your game whenever you're recording because OBS is uh, all your computer's focus and graphics card focus is all on OBS, which will then lag other uh, applications that's loading on your PC. So above normal is a good happy medium. Now this, I don't really know what this changes, but I've heard it changes quite a lot in the way your recording looks. So I would just copy my settings because a lot of people like my settings. So you can just copy it here, 300 nits, uh, REC 601, limited and 1600 nits. And whatever this stuff is, I'll just copy all that. So that's all the important stuff. Um, one other thing or two other things actually I would like to point out 
is so this is uh the preview most people will have this when they get obs i recommend you click uh you, you want to disable your preview just like this it'll help make obs uh use less resources on your computer and it just is better that way for your computer um but whenever you op open obs if i uh go to obs uh studio here there's a thing called run as administrator and you always want to uh run obs as an administrator it'll help recordings from lagging and we'll just make it run better so always run obs or streamlabs obs or whatever you're using to record as an administrator all right so next up is uh blur config so uh if you guys don't know there's a software called blur some of you guys have this some of you guys don't if you don't have it i wouldn't worry about it too much but it helps smooth out videos um so a lot of some people have been asking for this so i'm just gonna go over it briefly you can copy the settings if you want but this is my blur config here uh there's everything you can pause it change it however you want this is my blur config all right so i'm gonna as i'm launching up uh, vegas i'm gonna explain the difference between blur and vegas so for my clips, I always use blur and then I will frame blend it using Vegas. So I'm going to take a random clip here. I have not run these, the, any of these clips through blur before, but I'm going to give you an example. So after you put in your clip or whatever you want, uh, just go over it like this and then press file and render as. So this is my template. Uh, once you press render as you can customize your template, uh, I would just copy these settings so i have my width as 2, uh, 2560 by 1440 basically when i render it it comes out in 2k quality or 1440p and yeah the rest of these settings you can just copy and now the other thing i wanted to mention is if you for videos you don't use blur so anytime you don't use blur on a video or clip or whatever it is go to properties and where it says resample mode, change this to smart resample. So smart resample is like blur. I think it's just as good, if not better, from my experience than blur. It makes it really smooth. So for longer videos and sometimes clips, I'll use this. If you use blur on anything, you don't want to use smart resample because both combined makes it look too blurry and just makes it look bad. But yeah, these are your uh, project prop property settings. So... Um, just copy these as well and just keep that in mind with the smart resample but if you don't use blur i recommend you use smart resample it makes it look so smooth so now that i have these properties down and i showed you my render settings um i'm gonna go ahead and render this out and i will cut back when it's finished all right so the clip just finished rendering now i'm gonna close out of vegas uh i'm not gonna save changes because i don't really care about that and I'm actually not sure if this is a good yeah, yeah, yeah. clip or not. I'm going to mute them. it up uh, so it doesn't um, show anything. This was... Okay, this was a uh, ranked game I was playing. I drop here, and you can just see how smooth it looks. I'm not sure if how good it yeah, looks I'm just sitting recording here. But on my screen, it looks incredible. You guys have probably seen my clips and montages and all that, and how how like smooth this looks. But this is, this is with Smart Resample, and I didn't even use Blur or anything like that. Um... And with these settings, you can get just as good as this. Yeah, I'm just um, sitting out there left. Nice hand. little four hit flaws on Do Yours. I don't know if I'll use this in montage or not. It's a okay clip, but I mean, it is on Do Yours, so who knows? All right, so before I show my battle line settings, I'm going to go ahead and show my Streamlab settings. And for this as well, you also want to run as an administrator. And I also have here instead of, um, you, you basically it's called performance mode. On OBS here, it says, uh, preview so performance mode and preview same thing but yeah, basically you just right click here and click performance mode and it'll turn off um, but I'm gonna go over my settings here for streaming because a lot of people have asked how my streaming looks so good now on twitch the maximum bitrate is 6,000 and the quality isn't that good now one reason kick is so much better is because the quality is so much higher the lag is less and dream delay is not as bad one reason is because you can stream in higher bit rate so i only go to 8000 i'm not sure if you can stream higher stream higher than that or not but i stream 8000 bit rate for the encoder invake uh nvidia invink new make sure your mode is uh advanced and it's on streaming for rate control you for streaming you always want to use cbr not cqb 
you would think recording and streaming settings would be the same but it's actually not now so rate control cbr bitrate 8000 and the rest of this just you can copy yourself and for video uh just do this now the reason why i don't use 250 uh 2560 by 1440 is on kick for the streams to be able to work it has to be in 1080p so if you do have a higher resolution monitor like me make sure to just change uh these two to 1080p here i use fractional fps value as well and i stream 101 now the reason why this is much lower than recording is because for streaming it'll look really laggy and um streaming uses up more of your computer and more resources than recording does so i always like to stream lower fps but this still looks really good really smooth it doesn't even look like a live stream at all uh it just looks like a pre-recorded video okay so next up you want to go to stream and uh there's you can it'll show up as streaming services here with twitch youtube all that but you want to go to custom streaming server and then on kick itself you can go to your settings and find your stream url and stream key you just copy in your URL, put it into Streamlabs or OBS, whatever you're using to stream. I recommend using Streamlabs. And you put in your URL here, and then you copy your stream key, put in your stream key here, and then you press done. That's all you need to do. You can go live, and it works great. Once again, if you want to go check out my stream, see how things look, kick.com slash vase. Uh, I recommend you go there, watch it. I'm having a blast streaming on there, and it would mean a lot if you guys were to tune in. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is the advanced settings. So if you go to advanced, above normal once again, and then the color amounts, I do a little bit different here. Uh, you can just copy these. And that's everything you need to know with the Streamlab settings. All right, so next up is my bad line settings, and these I have not gone over. I've gone over my lunar settings back when I played on lunar, but now that I switched to bad line, so many people have asked for my bad line settings. So in this video, I'm going to be releasing that. So one thing I want to mention beforehand is I have four different profiles. They all are very similar, but slightly different. So I'm only going to cover one of them, and each one has slightly edited things. So if you're curious, when I'm using uh, this overlay, I mean this profile or this profile, it's the same thing with like one or two slightly edited things. So these are all pretty much the same, but I'm gonna go over the better worst one because it's the one I used mostly. So for block outline, I have outline and fill here. I swap between the two depending. Um, this is outline, this is fill, opacity, everything. For the crosshair, uh, this is this one here. Um, it's the uh, the default one. It's just recolored black. I like it a lot. All right, so for my crosshair settings, the custom one here is just the default bound line crosshair, but I changed the main color to white. Now, this is what I use on all of them, but sometimes I'll adjust the width and the height on them, just a little bit around, mess with them. But for the most part, this is what I use. You can see all the settings here. For hit color, I just use a default one. Sometimes I'll change it to white, but mainly I use just the default. Animations, these are all my animations. I like having the 1 to 8 sneaking. I don't know why, it just looks better. I feel like it can speed bridge faster with it. And uh, no shaking is no hit shake um, on bad lane. A lot of people will wonder how to get that. Well, there you go, it's in animations. CPS is pretty much just default, but these are the ones here. I normally have the mod off, but when I was streaming, someone asked for me to turn it on. That's why I have it on right now. This is my chat settings. And most of these I have off, but uh, I have full bright on. This is my GUI mod. So one thing I love about bad lane is the GUI mod. Uh, basically, I have everything here on large, except for the vanilla crosshairs, crosshair scale. I like a smaller crosshair. Um, it just looks better, so I can have everything else on large and just have that on medium. So you can customize that around a little bit. Hitboxes, I have this amount on two, and then I just have these on. Uh, I have it on black as well. I think black is a little bit cleaner. These are the Hypixel mods I have. Nothing too crazy. Inventory blur. Now, this is one thing I have on Badline that I really like. This is name tags. I'm pretty sure this is all default, but uh, they're just the settings if you need them. This is my scoreboard here. This is tab. Uh, this is my toggle sprints. And finally, my zoom. 
and I recommend you use scroll to zoom. Um, so normally some people have it to where they zoom, it just goes in, you know? Um, and even though that could be nice, I like to have scroll to zoom because then you can, you can zoom out and then you can zoom in like this. Uh, like you see here, like this, scroll out, scroll in, boom. I don't know, it's just really cool and efficient. And that's pretty much it for my battle lane settings. These are pretty much all the same. Um, and yeah, nothing nothing too crazy. Um, but I find them really clean. And so many of you guys have been asking for it. So that's why I finally decided to release this video. Hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you all in the next one. Also, uh, my goal is to hit 250 followers on Kick. So please, please mean the world if you were to go follow me there um i cannot stress that enough and also um if you maybe would want to support and drop a sub over there that's completely up to you but it would mean a lot as well if we hit 1k likes in this video i'll do a top five packs video it's been a while since i've done one of those and i have a load of good packs right now i will see y'all in the next one bye